the update on Vampire Survivors is already live, so how about we unlock the secret character and play with him. He's hiding on the bone zone, so let's head over there, I'll just choose random arcana and we go up. Far, far up. Getting closer to the ring over here, you want to pass it and after this you just align with the ring. Let's get a pentagram. You just align with the ring over here, I don't want to trigger the guardian so I keep my distance, there we go. And now when it's right below me, we just keep walking up. And here you can see a flower circle, you just have to stand within it, you might not even need this, maybe triggering it is enough. And there you go, you can hear the unlock sound, maybe, hopefully, but well, I can hear it. And there we have it, gains. These are the base stats of gains. I, I think that is actually the worst character in the game. There are other characters that have no bonuses at all, which are these ones here that started with the old unique weapons, which are no longer really unique, but they are no secret characters. Gains is. But hey, he starts with Heaven Sword and 2% growth per level up. I think we might have a lot of fun with that. So I just checked out the Bestiary. It doesn't seem to update any of the new characters that we just faced. But unless I'm mistaken, most of these are needed to unlock something. The Dragon Shrimp, I'm definitely sure that this one is needed for an unlock. The Milk Elemental is needed, the Lion Head is needed. Dust Elemental, I don't think so. The Skeletons are needed to unlock Motachio. I think I got the 5k there. And I would say we play on the Limit Break, which means after we are done leveling up, it just keeps going. So I kind of wanted to try out the Game Killer, how it works. The only problem that I have with it is the treasures give three items at least, but how do we level up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like it's great if they give us three items, but I have an evolved weapon. However, what about Vaults of Pearls? And then we also go for Hellfire. I would say that sounds very good. Whoop, there we go. Uh, could you please fire? Magic Wand for Holy Wand, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay, not too bad. We will get a ton of growth, like a ton, a ton of growth. Gatia Mari, I don't know if I really want to have that, but I'll go for it. I think this will just clutter the screen like crazy, but hey, that's what it is. <laughs> Should we also go for cross? No, 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 we won't. Let's banish, mm, let's banish the King Bible. I don't really have a plan yet what I want to go for, but I do have some ideas, like for example, ooh, look at this, there's the banish symbol down there. Like we will go for a pentagram, how did that not wipe out the enemies? That was insanely lucky given we only have a 14% chance that it doesn't wipe out the enemies. Let's go for X, and magic wand. I'm currently thinking what build I want to go for. Maybe we go for a bunch of bouncing weapons. We could also go for a thousand edge, for example. Oh, there we go. But more Gatia Mari is always good. The more cats you have, the more annoying it will be because it just takes up everything on the screen. That is exactly what I want. A lightning ring? Oh, I really have bad offers here. Let's get rid of that for now. Then again, I could also go for bow. Oh my god. Imagine one bone, infinite level ups, and without modding. Oh my god. For some reason, I'm really not getting any items. <laughs> I'm still missing all of them. And I haven't determined yet what I want to have as the last weapon. Oh no, we have determined that, yeah. I want to... Oh, pentagram. Yeah, let's, let's just... What? Was pentagram changed? The chance that that happens is incredibly low. It's 0 0.14 times 0 0.14. That is something across the lines of 0.02x. If my quick math head didn't mess that up. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the items. Not a single one has appeared so far. Not that I care about too, too many of them. I'll not pick up the stone mask either way. Like, regardless of what happens, I'll not pick it up on the map as well. Oh, we'll just wipe it now. Yeah, okay, finally we got a wipe. Not that I'm happy about that, but it was a bit concerning. Then again, in my personal opinion, I think pentagram should be changed to never wipe experience. Like, think about it, it's a weapon that only goes off initially in the beginning on a, what is it, 90 second cooldown, I think? Yeah, 90 second cooldown. So, a weapon that blasts every one and a half minutes. You have to spell that out, like, you have to say it out loud just to realize how bad it is early on. Most weapons are bad early on, but no weapon gets as little kills as Pentagram. 
Unless you try your best to avoid killing enemies. Like, that is ridiculous. And then having a 90x% chance to just erase everything is a little bit weird to me. And we have a chest. There we go. What do we get? Uh, X. Yeah. Okay. How about I get Ken Labrador? I think I also want to have Clover, maybe. That might be good just to help with the critical strikes. Yeah, I definitely want to have Clover. Or the game just doesn't offer me anything that I want to have. You know what? I'm gonna banish Santa Water. I've seen this now so many times. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I would say let's just head over and trigger the Guardians. So we already bothered them. That's a very good start. Ooh, thank you, Pentagram. No, but for real, I think Pentagram is just way too bad. It doesn't justify what it does. Like, even if you go to the Super Endgame where it has 65% chance to not erase. Like, just think about it, right? A 2 in 3 chance to not erase. Or rather, a 1 in 3 chance to erase everything that is there. Meaning, it's not just limited to whatever happens in the moment it blasts off, like what it kills there. But also what's already on the floor. And that as a maxed out weapon. And at maximum, the cooldown of the weapon is 15 seconds. Like, this is the lowest you can go. You can't go beyond that because it's limited in the code. And just in comparison to any other weapon, that is so horrible. Oh my god, stop that. Like, just think about how many kills any other weapon will get in 15 seconds. And then take the amount of kills Pentagram is doing in one blast. And now divide this by 15 seconds to compare it per second to any other weapon. I think the only other weapon that is worse is probably Laurel and Clock Lancet if you don't go for... Is it called Out of Bounds? Yeah, I think it's called Out of Bounds. Like, that is ridiculous. Okay, there we finally have Fire Wand. Now we have all the weapons, that means I no longer get the bad weapons offered. And I think I'll just banish some of the passives that we get the stuff that I want to have a little bit earlier. There's Crown, very nice. Let's actually check out the growth stat. It's right now 79%. Oh my god, okay, we will reach some ridiculous values here, by the way. Fire Wand, nice. Let's just keep going over there. Our cats are taking care of everyone. And, well, even more cats, there we go. So I'm looking for Ken Labrador, and I'm looking for Clover, I would say. Oh, talking about Clover. Oh, double talking about Clover. There we go, and there we go, wow. So now we will reach 100% on the spot. That is perfect. You definitely don't want your cats to eat a clover. It's a temporary boost for the one cat that ate it. And after it despawns, after like 5 seconds, that was it. Your cat is not doing anything anymore. It's a really weird way of doing it, considering... Like, if I would have done it, I would have said, okay, you have a permanent increase in speed. Like, if you pretend this is the goal, then I would say permanent increase of, like, 10% projectile speed per clover. And usually you only find 0 to 3 per run, I would say, on average. It's really weird to say an average like this, but a lot of runs have 0, then a lot of runs have 1, a lot of runs have 2. And the point rather being that you can't expect that you get 1 per run. So what else do I need? Duplicator is really good. Definitely. Anything else? We have Empty Tome on the stage, so I don't need to pick that up. I don't really want to go for Brazer. Brazer just causes the weapons to leave the screen earlier, which doesn't really benefit you. There are some benefits in some cases, but in most of them you actually just have it worse. In the past you used to have a pool limit for certain weapons, like the Death Spiral. Which meant that it only had 10 projectiles on the screen. I think it was 10, maybe it was 20, but I think it was 10. So if you attack too fast with too many projectiles, they would just not spawn. There would just be a gap, like you saw this with King Bible especially, where one rotation would have empty gaps of like one or two Bibles if you had too many. But now this has been reached to 50. The new cap of the Death Spiral at least. The new cap of the Death Spiral, at least. I don't know about other weapons, but for that one, it has been increased. More Clover, there we go. I kind of just now realized that my build is not really good for survival. <laughs> I have nothing protecting me. And the one weapon that is actually good at protecting me, which are the cats, they constantly strike me and hit me. Like, I'm not even surprised if 90% of the HP I lost is just because of them. Uh, should I risk the pentagram? Yeah, sure. Wow, thank you, Pentagram. You're amazing. 
But hey, I need to get it up, otherwise I have a slim chance that it will wipe everything at minute 11 with the Arcana. And I'm not gonna risk that. Something changed about the gems it feels like. I might be wrong with this. I might be wrong with this, but I think in the last update it was reduced how many gems you can have on the screen. Or maybe even in the update before that, and now it almost seems like it's back to normal. But this could also just be a typical confirmation bias, where I have something on my mind. And then I look for it, and I see, yes, something is different. But only because I really didn't look at it before that much. I uh, can Labrador, perfect. Should we go for Skullomaniac for more enemies? No, we need to have Duplicator, and I also want to have the, the Golden Bar. The Torona's box. Well, if I want to have these rare items, then I should... Well, there we go, Duplicator. Yeah, but I should really start banishing some of the items, just so we can make sure that I get them very soon. Spellbinder, goodbye. Tiragisu... I mean, I could actually pick it and just die to get rid of it. But I'll do this as a last resort if... Um, Clover, yeah. I'll do this as a last resort if I'm forced into picking something and it shows up there. I feel like the game is trolling me. Something is definitely weird. I'm just not getting the Torunas box. I mean, I did do a very lazy banish. I didn't consider what I want to have in the build. Yeah, great. Oh, uh, let's skip there. Usually, if you know that you want to go for XYZ in your build, like something... Usually, if you know what stuff you want to go for, like in my case, Torunas box and duplicator, then you want to make sure that you banish items instead of weapons. And I banish a lot of weapons and it shows now. Oh, no. I might have to use one reroll, but even then it's not guaranteed that I'll get it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but we are already level 70. Oh my god. Imagine the character also had a bonus of, let's say, 1% area, might, projectile speed and duration. God, this would be so crazy. So here we have an evolution chest. I just realized that. Let's pick that up. And we have a oh, oh, gorgeous moon. Amazing. Not sure if that is actually the best one to get first. I think Death Spiral would have given more experience. Just because it constantly kills all the enemies. Skip, there we go. I mean, if I don't get Torunas box, then I don't get Torunas box. I can't change that. However, there is one last chance where I could get it. Which is... Oh, there we go. Perfect. That is the one last chance. Well, it was the last chance to get it via level up. The other one would have been, if I would have been offered Tiragisu, then I would have just walked to the Guardian that he kills me and gets rid of my Revival and the Tiragisu. You don't really have another choice of doing that. Let's get another Evolution. There we have Hellfire. And down here, let's pick up the Arcana. Now, one that I'm really looking for is Slash. Let's reroll for Slash. Uh, that's not great. Wow. I've been really unlucky here. There we go. Yeah, most of my rewards are gone now. But then again, I'm not even sure what I want to have as the last Arcana. I was first thinking of just getting the one that makes the Death Spiral bounce. Because that is a really good one. Let's get the Empty Tome. But in the end, it honestly doesn't matter too much. The last Arcana is usually not that impactful. Especially given that you pick it this late. Another option that I could go for, and maybe I will go for that, is Heart of Fire. Because Heart of Fire is just absolutely broken. Especially considering that our Hellfire is bouncing around. Yeah, I think I will go for Heart of Fire. That sounds good. And there we go, Empty Tome is maxed out, Gorgeous Moon is blasting off. And... Now we only have to max out Toruna's box. I would really like to trigger the Guardian before it's maxed out. Oh, oh! Oh, okay, there's the Guardian. Perfect. So one of them is triggered. I kind of want to go for the other one as well. Let me just ignore the boss there. I will walk back and get the chest if he dies. Uh, actually, I can just pick it up now. And we have the Holy Wand. That will help us a lot to deal with the Guardians that get close. But I don't really expect him to live that that long. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That means now I'm free to get the curse. It's okay. And there it is. Now I just need to kill them somehow. One of them already died. Two of them already died. What? Yeah, I sometimes forget how strong the cats are. So let's get the area and the duration. And I would say we also get the curse over here. And then I walk to the other side and get the arrow that gives curse. The one pointing to the left. 
But Dex, it's not an arrow. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pointer. <laughs> I swear to God, if you now write that it's not a pointer, I'm gonna slap you. And oh, oh, chest blast off. Uh, there we go. And now the fun begins. So, do you see what happens here? We can have an infinite amount of cats. We can have an infinite amount of huge axes. We obviously don't want to have that yet. And we can have more crit on the Heaven Sword. Now, because I evolved the axe here, I don't want to give it any level ups. Let's do that here. And you can either say, hey, please pick everything by random or random ones. I will do everything by random. Oh, that was a lot actually. And if we press escape, we can exactly see what's going on. So the cats, they got two level ups. The Hellfire got 2, the Death Spire got 4. Where did I lose so much HP right now? What just happened there? I might need to be a little bit more careful what I'm doing. Oh my god, the cats keep hitting me. Oh, I thought they were at a point where they wouldn't do that anymore. Or where it's like super duper likely, but no, they keep doing it. Oh my god. So, oh my- Gorgeous Moon can actually- wait, what? So I assume Gorgeous Moon is going down in cooldown reduction. Is it? It's going off again. Wait, what? Huh. Wow. We got so many level ups, but for me it's a little bit difficult to see what exactly happened there. Oh, chest. Thank you. Yeah, but I'm still heading over. I'll get the other ring and the uh, arrow. That will be 80% curse. That will help us out a lot to level up, you know, because we are missing so many levels. And it seems like the cats have calmed down and stopped attacking me as frequently as they did. Well, you know, sometimes they still attack me. There's a chicken thing. Oh my god. Okay. Those were like 10 levels at once or so. Chicken. 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 Anyone wants a chicken? Hello? This is just amazing. Whenever all the experience comes in, and you get an insane boost for all of your weapons. Like first, it usually gives one level up, like here crit chance for the Heaven Sword, very nice. It usually gives one level up and suddenly you see like 10 or 20 level ups at once. And now I'm gonna put out a hope that I have for the future. Imagine you could click on these or somewhere see what stat bonuses they have. So right now I have no idea what stat bonuses I got. But imagine it would show the basic stats that you can get per level up. And then just let you know, yeah, this is how much you have right now. Like, even if you manually pick them, it's great if you always see what you get, but trust me, after 40 level ups or so, you'll not remember how many times you had crit chance. I had a bunch of crit chance there. So, just in case you're curious, if you use chests, they do nothing. They do not count as a level up that gives you bonuses. Does it make sense? I would say it's okay. Like, technically speaking, they should give you a level up. However, I don't think it matters too, too much. You get a majority of your level ups here from levels, <laughs> as you saw. So, yeah, I don't think it matters too much. I wonder what level we will reach on this scuffed run. I'm saying scuffed because it took us 11 minutes to get the empty tome, which is horrible. That is a huge loss in experience. Ooh, did I eat a chicken? Yeah, they ate a chicken. And I'll just keep walking to the right to get away from the cats a little bit. You know, they are, they're, they're covering up all the screen here. I still hope that having transparent visuals will be a thing in the future. If you remember, I put the transparency of the cat fight clouds down to 10% when I was doing the golden egg farming. And it's simply necessary. If you don't do this, then you don't see anything anymore off your screen. That was a fast kill. Nice. And I hope this will become a thing in the game. And there we go. Oh, this means I'll max it out now. Right. Um, I'm actually not getting a lot of experience. Okay, never mind. I'm getting a lot of experience. Oh, was a max out though. There's the last guardian. And there... Oh my god, he's fast. Ooh. Oh my god, is he fast. Ooh. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, that was a speedy boy. And there we have the gold ring, and I just got a bunch of level ups. So that is kind of the max that I'll reach. Let me just open a chest. I should get into this habit either way. Well, okay, now it had an actual use. But I tend to always run over the arcana chest. That is another thing that I hope for the future. Chests that can evolve are red. Basic chests that can't evolve are just brown. 
And chests that have an arcana are purple or blue or whatever you want to give it, right? Just an indicator that you know, yes, this chest is different. I might want to pay attention to this. This is really an amazing quality of life update. We won't see this, but there's an option where you can always go for the gold coin bags or you can go for always chicken as long as you're missing health. But if you're not missing health, then it will go for gold coin bags. And I love having such minor detail added to something because it's actually not minor. Like the easy way would have been always pick gold coin bags, always pick chickens, that's it, right? Even on full HP, it will always pick chickens. But no, that's not what it does. There was some brain added to it, and this happens more than often that, you know, something is added to a game and you do it half-heartedly without really thinking about it too much and then nothing really works the way people wanted it to work. Ooh, my game is lagging. Wait. I just had... Did I just have two gorgeous moon blasts going off at once? Did you also hear that, that the sounds were doubled? I wonder if this was a uh, audio glitch or if the cooldown is now so high with the upgrade to Gorgeous Moon that it just went off twice. But that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, that starts, okay. No, now it's single. That must have been a glitch. I just realized Gorgeous Moon gets an upgrade to Chance. Like I got an individual upgrade in it and it said Chance plus 0.5%. Why would I want that on Gorgeous Moon? It's guaranteed. Weird. Unless it's a chance to create additional... Yeah, did you see that? Chance 5%. What? Unless it's a chance to create additional XP gems when it strikes something. Which would be new to me. And there we go. We have the Heart of Fire. Perfect. That will wipe out so many enemies. Yeah, look at this. All of them are just gone. I really wonder what level we will reach, because at minute 29, the experience will catapult up like crazy. As well as on minute 28, but not as much. Minute 28 has half of the enemies giving 3 XP, and the other half giving 30 experience. But on minute 29, all of them give 30 experience. And don't forget with our cats, we are covering the entire screen. Meaning anything that will enter at that point, where I also won't move around anymore, will just immediately die and give us level ups, hopefully. You know, I was about to say it's somewhat amazing that even on a character like this that is based on growth, and just look at our growth stat, 700%, that even on a character like this, the infinite level ups are seemingly balanced. However, imagine we do this on one single weapon. And I wanted to ask you guys what you think about this. Since the game now has infinity weapons on its own, I was thinking that I would go through all the characters, from Antonio to whoever is the last one right now, I would do an infinite one weapon only run. Wait, that was another double one. But it wasn't double the animation, yeah, so it's just lagging, okay. But yes, I was thinking of just going through all the characters in order, doing infinite weapon runs with the main weapons, I don't know how I'll do it with those that have duplicate weapons. Are there even still some with duplicate weapons? Uh, I'm not too sure about that one actually. Yeah, I'm trying to think right now who has what weapon. But I don't rem- oh my god. Okay, um, something is weird. Did you see that? Moon did actually go off multiple times in a row. I think it's because it leveled up. Yeah, when it leveled up. Oh my god. So when Moon levels up, it immediately goes off again. It pretty much completely ignores the cooldown that it has, which means you can have multiple blasts of it. And that is probably also the reason why I heard it twice, and it actually did go off twice, but it was in the bunch of level ups that I got there. And one probably happened at the beginning of the chain of level ups, and one at the very end. Okay, do I get a level up here maybe? I would love to start the moon again. It just started. Oh yeah, they, they, there it goes. That is hilarious. What exactly did this have much damage to me? Um, okay. I have to be a little bit more careful. I, I just, oh, okay. Also, please, 
for the sake of everyone. I've opened thousands if not ten thousands of these and I'm so tired that I can't skip the animation. That takes what? I think it was 20 something seconds. Like just let me skip this please. Especially on egg characters where you have a ton of luck so they become super likely. Like every second chest for me is pretty much a panther chest. I'm just like dude please let me skip it please. Oh my god, look at the kill count on the top right. Everything pretty much instantly dies. Except for the boss there, wow. The boss got really far, I didn't expect that. Cats have a stupid amount of damage. But I don't think they've eaten a lot of chickens, so they are not as strong as they could be right now. Oh my god. Do we want to take a look at the level ups? Yeah, look at this. S nice. But aside from that, it's expected that Moon doesn't have as many level ups, because there are not that many stats that you can affect. In fact, I would have said it's only cooldown that you can affect, but no, also the chance works. And I might be wrong on this, but it seems like the cooldown is not affected at all. Like, do you see this huge break that we have right now from the last blast off that we had? That is a very, very, very long time. I think it's guaranteed that we will hit level 500. I think it's also guaranteed that we will hit level 600. That one I'm not too sure about. Reason being, I expected Moon to go down in cooldown a lot more than it does right now. So, yeah, that's not great. We are not even guaranteeing that it starts off right again when we level up, since the chance of us receiving it is so low. So, yeah, we will have a very long interval between blast off and blast off unless we get it. So what I'll do now, since we have minute 28 here, I will go down. Okay, maybe I'll walk over there. I will go down and block the Candelabras from spawning. It doesn't entirely block them, but it reduces their chance heavily that they appear. Just in case you didn't know about the mechanic, Candelabras, where the bottom part of them, pretty much the location where they spawn, if that is on the screen, then it removes the typical check for where it should spawn them. And it tries to spawn them anywhere else but there. The only time it goes below us right now, where all of the Candelabras are, 10 of them, is when it spawned the maximum amount that it can spawn in the tile set that we are in. Tile set is just a repeating pattern. It's pretty much from piano to piano. Then it will try to spawn it right next to us. Like as close as possible. It will take the furthest Candelabra. Oh my god, do you see how many levels we just got? And that is not even the craziest wave. That is the one with the half-half split. But yes, it will take the furthest away Candelabra that is on the map right now, despawn it, and spawn it as close as possible to you, so it would be right below me. The reason why I do that is I don't want to have them pick up a freeze. If the enemies don't walk into us, that would be horrible for level ups. Okay, please give me a gorgeous moon level up. I need this right now. Come on. No. No. There wasn't a... S th there's one. Okay, okay, it keeps... Okay, go, 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 go. Th that took way too long, sadly. There was so much time wasted. Come on, come on, come on. Give me Gorgeous Moon early on to immediately go off again. I didn't see one. No. Yeah, we didn't get one. That is so sad. I mean, I might have a vacuum somewhere. Uh, I don't even know. Okay, I did get some level ups over here. Oh, we have a freeze. That means we will get the level ups. Because the Reaper will be frozen. Okay, there we go. He's over here. And he just hit me. I will turn on damage numbers just for fun. Oh my god, he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. I mean, this will not do anything, but hey, just for fun. Of course, now a gorgeous moon blast happens. Level 637. This is definitely something. And that was with really bad weapons. Like, imagine this with something like Santa Water.